<laughs> yeah, welcome back. So, we just finished talking about fantasy football and NFL pickums. If you didn't watch those videos, go click the link in the bottom below. Click Check it. those videos out. Click it. But now, Migo, Migo. let us talk about the wonderful University of Illinois at Champaign Urbana. The Urbana wonderful, Champaign. the wonderful UIUC. So Urbana Champaign is how I say it, but then they have Shambana, so they confuse everyone with yeah. it. But Lady um, University. Leading into it real quick, um, we have moved our decorations around the background a, a couple times. I'm going to explain a couple things. So the hoop is now over here instead of behind Marco. Yep. This is shout out to the volleyball girls who made it to the final, um, the semis in 2018. This was the best team I've watched. I think this year's going to be better. So shout out to them. We've talked about Comey and all that. Bobby Roundtree, RIP. So we're always going to have him up there. Uh, and of course, the reason I kind of did this was that little thing right there. It was made by my aunt. We went home this past weekend. Uh, oh, shout out nice. to Jake Fiala and his girl. Congratulations on having a baby boy. The gender reveal okay. party that's coming in March. Um, but congrats to them. That was given to me by my aunt. Uh, her name's Auntie Anna. That's what I call her, at least. Uh, see, I thought this was Anna at first when I first read that. Yeah, no, no, no. It's my aunt from back home. Uh, she's been battling with cancer. She's gotten Ooh. into art, and she made that fabulous thing for me. I figured there was nothing better than to put it right here on our podcast for everyone to see. So I wanted to start with that, and I also wanted to start with decorations because another prop I brought with me okay. is this drinking cup. Oh, I didn't cup. realize that you saw that. And inside this drinking cup is a blue drink. It's, it's Powerade for the record, but exactly. on the front it says Drinking Illini established in CAMS. And this brings us to our topic of discussion today for the Illinois-based thing because we don't yes. want to talk about losing to Purdue. Yeah, we so, want to talk about drinking things that are blue. Yep, and we are called the home of the Drinking Illini That's right. for a reason. Um, well, CAMS is. And the point, of, the point of what I'm saying is that Blue Guys is the signature drink of CAMS. That's for anybody who's not from U of I wonder why yeah. I keep bringing up blue drinks. That's why. But we were on the couch thinking of what to talk about for this segment. Mm -hmm. We went into, fuck it, let's talk about bars. We talked about restaurants last yep. time. Last time we talked about restaurants, and we didn't want to talk about our football team because we lost to Purdue. There isn't really much to talk about. So that's right. When your team loses, go eat and go drink. Yep, basically. I mean, if they win, you do the same thing. But you'll catch me at the bars by the, end of the, third, by the end of the third quarter. I'm at either Lion or Cam's. So the two biggest bars on campus, we would say pretty confidently, are Cam's and Lion's. There are other ones, right? What they to do. Without a doubt, but obviously there's other ones. There's Joe's, Legends, Shout out Joe's. Murphy's. Those, um, are, those are nostalgic. Those are nostalgic. They're part of the U of I process. The brand. But the two biggest ones, the two yeah. that get the most attention, the two that have the craziest lines sometimes. Let me say it for the people on TikTok. The ones that are bussing yeah. are Cam's and Lion. Oh, what does bussing mean? I don't understand what that means. It means is bussing, you know? You just know <laughs> what it means. I love when you use that voice. I love when you use that bussa, voice. Bussa, you know? But, yeah, so... The lines for both of these bars are sometimes in fucking insane. Right, they usually end up running into each other at some point because they're so close and they get so long. Yeah. But uh, the reason why it's podcast worthy is that there is a internal debate among Illini yep. about which bar is better. And the thing that's funny to me that I'm going to bring up before we dive into our personal opinions is that when you meet people who have just visited U of I, like mm -hmm. when I worked in my internship, a bunch of people were like, oh, I've been to U of I before I went to Lion. Yeah. And I'm like... Did you ever go to Cam's? And they're like, no. So most of the time, people come and they only go to one or the other. Really? Because yeah, because well, I was gonna say, whenever I talk to people like that, I feel like they always say Cam's instead of Lions. No, 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 no. What I meant by that was is like when uh, you meet someone who's not directly from U of I, they haven't been to both. Mm -hmm. So everyone like, oh, U of I's bar scene is crazy, but they usually usually only experience one or the other. Uh -huh. So this is this is a good debate for not only the Illini people, but for people who want to come down to Champagne and get yeah. fucking railed. You're gonna get to understand why both of these bars are the two best bars on right. campus, and there is there is a debate here. So both great bars, both great bars. Um, but they are great for obviously for drinking reasons, but in different they provide different environments for right. the drinking experience. So the thing that's weird to me is that they're both owned by the same person. Yes, and if everyone ends up figuring that out while they're at U of I, but. The thing that's weird is that it's like they feel so crazy different, not only because they're sister uh, bars, but because like it, it's two different takes on a bar. So yeah. I'm going to start off with my personal favorite of the two. Yep. So this is going to break down who's, who's on which side right now. Yeah. I'm going with the cup that I'm rocking right here, and I'm going with Cam's. Yep. Now, Cam's is, Cam's is one of those bars that when you walk in, it's entirely lit up by blue and orange neon lights. Mm -hmm. Um, it's 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 obviously got like the pop mix. I this is what I will say right now before we get into anything. Music is a huge thing at bars. I know, mm -hmm. 
Lion plays better music, in my opinion, than Cam's. There's a reason why it's my favorite. We'll get into that. But at the end of the day, there's a certain 10 to 20 songs that if you play at the bar, you're going to get your bar experience. Yeah. And it's going to be songs that aren't current. It's going to be like Mr. Brightside and shit like that that gets everybody jumping in the bar. And by everybody, you know what I mean. But uh, <laughs> we go to U of I, there's a lot of, a lot of gringos. Yep. But we could say that because... We have a Mexican here on set, so it's not racist. Sometimes. That's how it works, right? As long as there's someone Maybe. of minority present, it just eliminates all exactly. potential for racism. Oh. That's a diss in a lot of things. But um, I'm so confused about what just happened there. Yeah, it dove, it, it dove into a quick thing, but I like to make uh, pretty good jabs. So uh, I go with cams because it's got that like club feeling more than anything, and that's why I actually rock with it. You walk in, it's got like just the the concretes, like glossy floors. Mm-hmm. It's got the bar right in the middle, the big neon lights, and everyone's just kind of... Yeah, you have the area in the corner, too, where everybody takes pictures. Yeah, you got the home of the drinking line with the yeah. neon lights. You got the upstairs, which you can go outside. You get a breath of fresh air. There's another crazy bar. I, whenever I do go to camps, I personally do like being on the upstairs section more. Me, too, chance. because of the outside. Yeah, exactly. Because of the outside. Now, I like that more than what Lion gives off, which, in my opinion, it's more like you walk in, and it's really dark. So, yeah, so I would definitely say Lines is my favorite bar because it's, it's the rowdier of the two. We pointed out music earlier. It definitely, by far, has a better music. Like, the mm-hmm. DJs there go insane all the time. Right. You will, even though at both bars you will see a lot of people dancing, it just, <clears throat> the way Lines is set up, you have that section of people that are standing on top of the tables, and they're always up there doing their thing. Then you have the people down here doing their thing. And then you go outside, and that outside section is pretty lit. They have all the tables kind of going around. Um, I think it's the rowdier of the two, I think. It's just so, like, the environment there is just so cool. And I would honestly say, I know you said Cam's is more of a club feeling. I would say it would be the opposite, in my opinion. I really? think Gam, Cam's gives you more of that bar feeling. And if you want to just go get fucked up, get hammered, and dance all night and sing your heart out, I think Lines is the place to do that. Okay, I know what you're getting with that. I'm, I meant, okay, so I'm kind of talking from the establishment point of it. So okay, like when yeah. you walk into Cam's, you feel like you're at a club, which for me is like... It is a nice That invites me to kind it is of nice start of dancing and, and singing and all that type of shit at Cam's. Mm-hmm. Uh, the problem with Lion is that, like I said, it gives me the, well, the bar feeling where you walk in, it feels dungeony. Obviously, it's yeah. medieval themed, so I get that's the point. But it has that like dark feeling, and I feel like that's more of a place where it's like, I'm going to get drunk and mainly like talk amongst my group. Now, don't get me wrong... Uh-huh. I get absolutely lit at both of them, and there's Fuck, no yeah. dissing going on here because, like I said... We've had great times at both. This is the crazy parts. part to me, yeah. is that I'm usually a man of logic and stuff like that, so the reason I pick one over the other will make sense. This one, to me, doesn't even make sense, which yeah. is why I almost want to debate it. There's better music at Lion, and there's stronger drinks at Lion. Yes. My big thing is that, one, they don't have blue guys at Lion, and oh, I yeah, enjoy so having... Because, like, me personally, I know I'm going to drink for the next 50, 60 years of my life. Yeah, so the thing So is, when I can hammer myself on blue guys, I'm going to do it while I can. Yeah, so I do like the whole kind of, like, very, like, Illini theme that yeah. Cam's has. Like, the orange and blue, like, it's iconic, right? People who come visit like to go there because it's orange and blue. Blue right. and orange guys, I mean... Blue guys are better than orange guys, yeah, but, exactly like... Yeah, I like, three orange guys. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a blue and orange. Like, I guess you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it. But, I mean, I just... I, Lions is, like, the better environment, in my opinion. I've... Had great times at both, but I just, like, I have rowdier, See, more, like, I like to dance. So, like, I dance more. I dance at both. We've mosh pitted at Yes, camps. we've mosh pitted, mosh pitted at both. We, we were on the stage at, at Lion yeah. at one time with I know. the girls. But, like, at Lion, I don't know. I just have a better time at Lion. Really so, this gets me to another point that I just kind of developed in my head. Is that it's like, I feel like cams is better set up for the type of crowd you get at Lion. But you don't get that crowd at cams. It might be because, one, the weaker music, the weaker drinks. Two, it's just newer, and people like to go to Lion and get hammered because they know that's where all the party's popping right now. But I feel like like you, you are absolutely 100% correct where it gets rowdier at Lion. Yes, yeah, so, but there's also the, like... But I feel like, I almost feel like things get rowdier at Lion because, like, you just know things get rowdy at Lion. Because, well, but, but that's exactly like, new cams they have, have that yet. They have that reputation of being just fucking insane. And but I think, think about old cams. Old cams was rowdier than Lion. Yeah, that is true. Old cams was like you're pissing on the floor and throwing ice across the yeah, room. Yeah, so the I never got to experience old cams. Like, I went there once and I wasn't 21, and it was during their like farewell weekend uh-huh. or homecoming weekend, so they wristbanded and I didn't get drinks. Yeah. But it was completely, di- it was way closer to what Lion is, where it's like, it's kind of like, you get the, you walk in, there's like a bar, and then there's outside areas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Didn't get to take the picture at the mural. Yeah, the famous mural. Which is kind of ass. But, I don't know, I mean, I just, I personally like, and it's always, 
I always see the fucking basketball players at Lions. They're always there. That's true. I always see them. That's there. Not, not that that has anything to do with it, but like, I always see them. We have, we have brought that up before. That's very true. So, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, I think, obviously, besides that, I think some of the other good bars on campus, like, as a freshman, Joe's. See, that's the thing is that I wasn't really big into going out and partying as a freshman, so I never went to Joe's. Mm-hmm. By the time I was down to, like, actually get lit often, I was old enough to go to camps. Yeah. I mean, that is true, but like, I think, I, like... There's also a, a light skew for everyone back home. How close I live to camps also skews why I like it so much. Yeah. I can get drunk and walk across the street, and I'm done. That is true. So I live really close to both lines in and between camps. Both. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally a block away from camps, a block away from lines. Yeah, so great I could go to fucking either one of them, too. But the point I wanted to make, too, is that Joe's... Is a good bar. Like it right. is, it the, is a good I heard bar. The dance area is lit. Yeah. So that like back room, that like dark ass yeah. room, is fucking great to dance. Especially as a freshman, like being one of the first few bars you ever experienced. Like that was that was the very first, not the very first bar I've ever gone to, but first college bar I've ever gone to. And that right. shit. Like I was pretty, I was pretty hyped. I was like, oh, this, this is a bar, you know. Right. Um, hey, if your future uh, siblings are gonna be Illini, show them these videos because we're giving them pointers. We are giving you guys pointers. We're giving you bars. How to get lit as a fucking freshman. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to all the cops who will eventually watch us and be like, damn, they're just getting drunk as 18 year old. Who cares? Legally type shit. You got drunk at 8? No. I didn't do that. I, I didn't. I just I didn't admitted to that earlier. But <laughs> but with that said, we're going to wrap up this segment because we, we are coming to an end real quickly and we don't want to cut it off like it happened in the last segment. Um, just know that the bar scene here at U of I is fucking insane. Uh, we love it here. We are home of the drinking Atlanta for a reason. Liddyville University. Um, but we will be back with the final segment of this podcast. So... We will stick around. We'll be right back.